When you say that you're Jesus, most people believe that this means you want power and control over other people. Mm. The main reason for that is that the Bible says things like in Revelations um, chapter 19 verses 14 to 16. The armies of heaven were following him, riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen, white and clean. Coming out of his mouth is a sharp sword which, with which to strike down the nations. Mm. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh, he, he has the name written, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. You are, yeah. So, are you just claiming you are Jesus in order to have power and control over people? Well, you know, that, that verse is pretty intense, isn't it? Yes. And, and completely incorrect, by the way, in the sense that I would never have such an idea of wanting to kill anybody or to be the expression of God's wrath because God doesn't have any wrath, God doesn't have any fury, and God hasn't got a wine press of his anger that I'm meant to tread. <laughs> I, I am not king of kings and I am not lord of lords. God is king of kings and mm -hmm. God is lord of lords. Mm -hmm. And I am none of those things. I am just the brother and friend of any person who wishes to be <laughs> my brother and friend. <laughs> And even the brother and friend of many of the people who want to be my enemies. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, so the reality is these verses have no construction in reality. I do not want to have power over anybody. And in fact, there are Bible verses that demonstrate that I did not want to have power over anybody. So again, the Bible is quite contradictory on this issue of my desire for power and control. So if I look at, for instance, in John 6, 14 and 15, it says... After the people saw the miraculous sign that Jesus did, they began to say, surely this is the prophet who is to come into the world, referring to me as the Messiah. Jesus, knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew again to a mountain by himself. Now, I opposed anybody making me king by force. Mm -hmm. So in other words, I'm never going to be a king of anybody ever if it means being a king of them by force. Now, according to other scriptures in the Bible, God is offering me kingship by force. Now, why would I on one hand reject it and then on the other hand, because it came from God, accept it? It makes no logical sense whatsoever. I am never going to be king by force. Even God does not establish kingship by force. Mm. So God is king because all of God's laws and rules govern the entire universe. Whether we accept the kingship or not, God doesn't force us to accept it. So if God never forces acceptance of his own kingship, why would he encourage me to enforce a kingship of my own? It makes, no, again, no logical sense. Yeah. The Bible is way out of harmony with truth and it's way out of harmony here with my desires. I do not desire to control or have power over anyone. All I desire to do is do what we're doing now, share divine truth with anybody who will listen. Thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's all I'm currently doing. Yeah. And that's all I desire to do. I feel quite strongly that people have their own will. God has given them this gift of will to exercise how they see fit. Now, if they decide to exercise their will in a wicked and evil manner, then God's laws correct them. If they desire to exercise their will in a loving and positive manner, God's laws reward them. That's how this, the whole universe has been in, set up. So, so just because we don't see this happening on the earth very easily at the moment, because the majority of the earth is against God and God's laws, it's just something that's very much established in the spirit world already, which is why I established my kingdom in the spirit world first because I realised that there were different constraints placed upon the laws, uh, by the laws, and that, in fact, that free will was less able to be engaged in the spirit world if you had acted out of harmony with the laws of God. So I understood there was a restraint placed upon the will in correction, whereas on earth here there is no restraint placed upon the will, and that is to enable people to make a choice. Mm -hmm. So they, they can choose to be bad if they want to be bad. They can choose to be good if they want to be good. They will feel the results of it in their future, but it won't be from anything I have done. 
and it won't be from anything God has done aside from setting up the laws in the first place. So there is no need for me to be a king. There's no need for me to be a lord of lords. I have no desire for such things. There is no, I have no desire for kingship or power or control over anybody else. As everyone around me knows, I have very little to do with their day-to-day -day lives. If they ask me a question, I give them a direct, honest, firm answer about what I know to be the truth. If I don't know it to be the truth, I say, I'm not sure. This is what I feel at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and many people then take that to be true, but that's their own issue because I've told them quite clearly that I'm not sure. And with other issues, I am very sure about what is going to happen. And I'm very sure about what I observe. And I state with surety those particular things. But, ha but I have no desire to lord it over other people, control their lives, or dictate to them what they need to do in their day-to-day -day life. Their future is completely in their own hands. And I do not wish to have any part of their future except that I would love them to come to accept the divine truth that I've come to accept because of the joy and happiness that it's going to bring them in their own lives. Mm. That's the only purpose for me doing it. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So I feel, though, you know, again, the Bible is contradictory on these matters because it's interesting that on one hand, God offers me kingship. Mm -hmm. And then on the other hand, if you look at Matthew 4, it says Satan offers me the same thing. <laughs> Now, I rejected it from Satan. Why, why do you think I'm going to accept it from God if he ever offered it? Yeah. <laughs> and the reality is that God would never offer such a thing. I am his child. There is no need for me to be a king. I have set up a kingdom, but it is God's kingdom of which I am a subject. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I am helping it come into being through my actions and distributing the divine truth, but I am not. Uh, setting it up so that I can rule over anyone. Now, people do in that kingdom listen to my voice, but they listen to my voice because they can feel it to be the voice of love and the voice of you know, truth, not because of having, my, having any power or threatening their life in any way, um, as the Bible seems to suggest. Mm. Mm.